Now let's have a look at these four example questions involving negative indices. Yeah? And of course this is a combination of the three laws of the indices. Yeah? And uh, yeah, negative indices is nothing to worry about. Yeah? We've seen in my previous video uh, that um, a negative index, so let me put it here on the side, for instance x to the power minus 2, that is the same as 1 over x to the power positive 2, and I've shown you why. Okay, so make sure you've seen that video. Now, these questions, um, I'll do it relatively quickly. I'll do it in green. First, have a look at the numerator. Yeah, first law of the indices, the bases are the same, so I add the indices, yeah? a to the power minus 3 times a to the power 5, that is a to the power 2, yeah? minus 3 plus 5, over a to the power 8. Now I can do two things. Second law of the indices, and to simplify this, take away the common factors, I can say, well, that is a 1 over 8 to the power 6, yeah? Or, yeah, uh, I could have said, well, the bases are the same, I'm dividing, so I subtract the indices, so minus 6. And here we see 8 to the power minus 6 is the same as 1 over 8 to the power positive 6. It depends on the question. And perhaps I will ask you, write your answer in positive index notation. Well, then you have to make sure that you write it as a fraction, positive index notation. Second question. a to the power 7 divided by a to the power minus 2. I'm going to go a little bit quicker. Um, so I, I, I prefer fractions. I'm going to write it like this, yeah, because hang on a minute. How much is 7 minus minus 2? That is a to the power 9. Yeah, careful there. Yeah, subtracting a negative, you're actually adding. Okay, next question. Third law of the indices, then a division. Second law of the indices, so 5 times minus 2 over minus 4 times minus 3, 12. Yeah, and the second law then, if you're dividing the base is the same, you subtract the indices, minus 10, minus 12, minus 22 so the answer is x to the power minus 22 and in positive index notation that would be 1 over x to the power 22 if you can still read that okay x to the power minus 4 times x to the power 4 first law of the indices i add the base is the same multiplying you add the indices minus 4 plus 4 is 0 and everything to the power 1 uh, sorry everything to the power 0 equals to 1 all right, so those were the four questions. I again want to emphasize the same thing I said in my previous video, that 5x to the power minus two, that is five over x to the power two. Yeah, because the five has a positive index, it's one. It's the x with the negative index, okay? And also please make sure that when it says minus three x to the power two, there's no negative index here. It is still minus three, x to the power 2 because the index is positive. Alright, I think the last thing we still have to do are some exponential equations and I'm sure you're going to like those equally as much as you like negative indices by now. I'll see you there.